A new update on an Action News investigation. We're learning a lot more about the local mechanic who admits to loaning out a customer's truck that still has not been found. Where is the truck? It's over at Off Phillips Highway. Somewhere, I don't know where. He admitted he used the truck to give rides to women along Phillips Highway, an area known for prostitution. Now, for the first time, Pickett's family is speaking out. Action News Amanda Warford is live on the south side. Amanda, you spoke with his mother, who had plenty to say about what's going on. John, that mother says her son is an honest businessman, but recently she says things have changed here at his auto body shop, and now she believes he needs help. His name is Oliver Pickett, but his mom says most people call him Tadpole. For decades, he's run Pickett Brothers Body Shop in the Inglewood neighborhood. But his mother says the 54-year-old's once solid reputation has recently changed. He don't even look like himself. I got back. the man's truck. Give me a no, minute. No, you don't. No, the f you don't. On Tuesday, Action News first told you that Charles Mooney gave Pickett more than $1,100 to fix his pickup truck last week. The Pickett admitted to us that he has no idea where that truck is now. I loaned the car to somebody. You loaned the car. I made a mistake. Okay. It's my mistake. Why did you do that? Because I'm dumb. Wednesday, Pickett told us he used the truck to transport and protect dozens of women who live and work along Phillips Highway, an area known for prostitution. What are you getting in return from these women? Nothing. I do not have sex with them. I do not expect sex with them. I do not expect money from them. Nothing. I just need respect from them, and I got it. But he's a helper, I'm telling you. But he's in the moment, he's like his daddy, he goes to tramps. But Pickett's mother says those girls are taking advantage of her son. Like her, she says he suffers from a hereditary mental illness that is getting worse without medication. She believes he has good intentions and that he plans to return that truck. He's not doing this as a robbery or stealing or, you know what I mean? Oh, no, he was helping them horse. I need to speak with someone about an incident report. On Wednesday, Action News was there when Debbie Mooney filed another report against Pickett with JSO. Do you think that that, that, that couple should have filed the police report then? Well, that, it depends on what they know. Right. If they think he stole it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you? While Bryant says she understands the couple's frustration, she hopes her son won't go to jail and instead will find help. Now, if he knew Tadpole, he would know that's not Tadpole. But I would not stop him from putting out a warrant, no, because he's got the truck. I can't cover him for that. I just spoke to Oliver Pickett moments ago once again, and he confirmed that he does have a mental illness, but says he simply does not like to take medication. And we've got a brand new development just in the past 30 minutes. Take a look at that auto body shop right now. You will see there a customer who told me that his truck is also now missing, and he just realized that it has been missing for a few days now. We do have some video of him arriving here just a little while ago and confronting Pickett about his truck. Pickett told me that he also lent that customer's vehicle to a friend and some girls, and just 10 minutes ago, Pickett left here to go get that truck for this customer, but of course that customer is here. He called JSO and is now waiting to file a report. Now, like the Moonies, that customer says he is a longtime customer of Pickett's and that he's never had any problems until now. He says he just wants to know what has happened. This is, of course, a developing story that we will continue to follow. For now, we're live in Inglewood, Amanda Warford, CBS 47, Action News Chaps. And JSO is now conducting a criminal investigation and will hand its findings over to the state attorney's office, who says they are aware of this case.